This morning, U.S. Senate hopeful Herschel Walker facing new allegations. Despite the Georgia Republican wanting to ban abortions nationwide with no exceptions, a second woman has now come forward alleging Walker encouraged her to terminate her pregnancy nearly 30 years ago. National correspondent Mara Sirianni is here with details on this latest allegation. Hey, Mara. Well, Lindsay, good morning. Just like with the first one, Walker denies this new abortion claim and says he's, quote, done with the foolishness and won't entertain what he calls more lies. So the woman identified herself only as Jane Doe and appeared on Zoom by voice only. This was a news conference hosted by celebrity lawyer Gloria Allred. The woman said she carried on a six-year romance with Walker, which then led to a surprise pregnancy in 1993. The woman says Walker then encouraged the abortion, gave her cash to pay for the procedure, drove her to the clinic, and waited for her until the procedure was over. All red displayed cards and letters signed H, but no evidence of an abortion. Now, there was no threat or hint of legal action, but both women say Walker should not be elected. They call him unfit and a hypocrite. For anyone who believes I am coming forward because Herschel is running as a Republican candidate, that is simply not the case. I am a registered independent, and I voted for Donald Trump in both elections. I do not believe that Herschel is morally fit to be a U.S. Senator, and that is the reason why I am speaking up and providing proof. All right, now let's look at the latest polling here in Georgia. This is from Monmouth University. Senator Raphael Warnock with a projected lead at 51%, with Walker at 43%. Things still pretty close, though, in that race. Now, Warnock has been pretty quiet when it comes to these allegations, but in response to this latest one, he says his opponent has a problem telling the truth. Lindsay? All right, National Correspondent Mara Siriani reporting. Thank you, Mara.